just oh my god, dude. Oh, it's firing at us! Oh my god! Look at that! Cool. I wish that guy wouldn't go running ahead. He is, like, know, look at all the health. scores and stuff, too. Like, we lost, dude! Yeah. Hey, hi, how you doing? I'm the gamer lad. And I'm the gamer lad. And in today's video, okay, I have to. Earlier this week, posted a quick trailer reaction and discussion about the new operation that was coming out. Well, it came out like the next day. I didn't know it actually had a release date. So I wanted to talk about the mission. First, I just want to talk about the lore real quick. Everything I talked about in the Zinch theory kind of proves that I was correct. First, you don't have Titus talking to you. Titus isn't talking to us, that's interesting. My theories are proving correct! What do you mean? Akarin is in charge of us this time. So I'm assuming this all takes place at the end of Space Marine 2, after Titus has left, most likely. So, all this is going on afterwards, and Titus is heading to his new place with Leandros and Kyogar. Fucking Leandros. In the mission, everything is like destroyed. You just see the pockets of like Cadians are still fighting as hard as they can to try and do as much damage as they can or to like escape or whatever. And everything else is gone. There is just piles of biomass everywhere. I'm gonna guess that originally they had rippers in this level, kind of on how there's a section played that was so interior like, just like um, that one campaign mission. But people hated that mission, so I'm, I have an internal theory that they removed that. But that, that could be totally wrong there. It was just an idea based on, it would make sense to have a bunch of rippers based on the amount of biomass available. I mentioned the devastation of everything, like when you actually get to the Icarus uh, Laz cannons, which, how are those only things that are intact? But everything else is like completely annihilated and destroyed. Uh, just like in the sixth operation, you see those little like spiky things that are growing out of the ground. In the distance, you see the capillary towers and they are fucking massive. Um, I'm doing this like all off cuff. I just wanted it to be very quick. Um, I mentioned how it seemed barren, but things seem more overgrown too. The spores that they release at the beginning of the invasion can mutate the flora. The spores affect everything basically. When a high fleet invades, it launches spores into the atmosphere, which go down. It can make like fauna more aggressive and potentially flora, but flora are usually just more dangerous. Like we see a lot of the spikes. A lot of those sunflowers are explosive now. Just a variety of things like that. And there's a lot more of that. Things have been growing for longer, sucking up nutrients so they can easily uh, get the biomass in an easier way and they don't have to use the rippers to dig as deep. They say Kadaku's a lost cause and that's why we're gonna go fight the chaos stuff or whatever, but we are back, so I'm guessing the goal was so Titus is gone, we're taking care of the big emergency chaos threat. We are trying to do as much damage to slow down the high fleet to allow other planets to prepare and deal as much damage so there's a net loss in their biomass, hopefully. One thing at the end of the mission, the last cannons, and I'm not sure if they could actually shoot the fire or do this much damage, but they do shoot the capillary towers and they explode. You want it to hurt. You want it to be oh, yeah. very painful. We shot the tendrils and the nuclear bomb went off? What the hell? I'm guessing mostly that was for the spectacle of it, of it just looking cool. But I do have a theory that if it's sucking up atmosphere and water and all these other things, it's going to have um, acid pools or reclamation pools. It's going to pool all that stuff and melt it down so the capillary tower can drink it up like a straw. Maybe all that chemical bio soup mixing potentially with just a lot of condensed atmosphere, like a bunch of the atmosphere being sucked up into there. So when it shot, either it was very pressurized because how much was in there that it exploded outwards in a rapid explosion, or some of it actually was volatile and genuinely exploded too. So, the mission. Let's go follow you. He's not happy with me! He's not happy with me! Oh god, dude. Thank god. Oh, god. That was very fun to play. Um, it was just a really good time, and I did notice something. I don't know if this was there in other missions, so... The Termagons have had since, ever since a game came out, have had, um, some of them have adrenal sacs on their back, and you can tell that by the red eyes, and then you'll see, like, green stuff spurting off their back, and if you look on their back, there's an adrenal sac. Whoa, this guy has an adrenal sac on him. What? The Tyranid Warrior has an adrenal sac, not just the little guys now. I'm not sure what that does, but cool. But, there are adrenal sacs on the Tyranid Warriors, which is pretty cool. I don't know if that's always been there, but assuming it isn't, I like that addition. Okay, the Bio Titan boss. I hear something out here and I'm scared. 
Oh, is this gonna oh walk by? I saw this in the trailer. Oh! Oh my god. Dude, that's fucking cool. Look at it! God damn, that thing's dick's hanging low. I originally thought it was just gonna be a maybe dodge a few attacks from it randomly, then button, and then you shoot a gun and just do that two, three times. It is way, way, way more interactive than that. I'm pushing the button. I'm pushing the button. I pushed the, the pretty button. Oh shit! We actually have to aim it? Oh, oh shit! There's a lot. Oh my god, there's a lot of them! Firing! I'm running. I'm running to a new location. I think it. Shoot that fucker. The hell am I getting shot? Nice! You have a full arena and has everything in it. You know, there's, a, there's plenty of health. And we were playing, I think, just level two, but there's plenty of stims. Random ammo boxes, there's a couple armor boosts, just things lying around, ammo box right in the center. At one point, let's just say, and I'll explain why it does this, but the Bio Titan is trying to kill you from outside the arena, and it is a threat, it isn't just a incoming small thing, no, if, if this, it can completely affect the entire arena where, where it attacks. It stays there for a very long time, and if you sit in it, you're gonna have a bad time. It will just shred your armor through it, thinking that's oh, just gonna be a little bit. No, like just taken down. So watch it, and it can be hard to notice on some of the rubble spots because it's just like little green pooling, popping bubbles. It, it affects the whole arena. So if you're up in a high spot where you can easily shoot it, well, it's gonna barrage there. So now you can't sit in there. So you need to try and find another spot to shoot it. Hey, you might want to keep moving though. He's gonna shoot right at you. Hey, everybody, you're shooting at me! You get a control by aiming, by just aiming down sights, you get to control the Icarus LAS cannons. Initially, the Biotitan won't notice you until you shoot it once, then you piss it off and it like fully starts. I imagine it as the, I can't remember the exact name of it, but basically the laser designator Mac cannon from uh, Halo Reach, or the Hammer of Dawn from Gears of War kind of concept. Little like blue lasers and you see the cannons actually like turn and start to aim and then just, it, it hits them. I like this boss fight more than the Heldrake because the Heldrake you push the buttons to just do damage at all or hit a button now shoot it it is actively moving and then the spore cloud it's trying to dodge you and then it does a barrage that can really affects the map in a different way this feels like you're fighting a bio titan without getting too weird scale or anything like that anyways as i mentioned so you aim charge and fire the cannons in between x amount of shots you'll have to go to the spinny generators the the fidget spinner generators so you can power up the weapons again for more shots and it will still constantly attack you. And I didn't mention this, but you will have constant swarms and waves attacking you and sometimes they will try to call in reinforcements. Yep. There's a lot, oh my God, there's a lot of them. Okay. Oh, oh my, my God, God dude. dude, I'm dying, I'm about to die. Mortal wound. Um, we had two zone throws spawn. So we had a bio titan attacking us with two psychers buffing termagants and each other with tyranid warriors if we had another mini boss like a neurothrope or a, a carnifex there's no way in hell and they do target you whoever has the targeter they want to attack you because the other players get a defend notification we had to protect you okay okay dude this is gonna be so fucking cool <laughs> Dude! It's dead, it's dead, it's dead! <laughs> so overall, I just enjoyed this operation. The spectacle was insane, and the boss fight was very interactive and fun. Lore-wise, I feel like this mission confirms my previous video on Space Marine 2, Zinch theories, and stuff like that ending video. It confirms that video a bit more about the Tyrion is winning. And it shows Kodaku as, as lost. This time it's not Titus talking to us for the mission stuff, it's all Captain Akron. This shows that Titus left with Kalgar and Leandros, and he's heading to another war zone to fight Abaddon, to fight little bitch Abaddon. So this operation most likely takes place after the campaign. The Tyranids won, we're just trying to do as much damage as we can and to slow them down as much as we can, potentially help the next planet prepare. I don't know if the next planet's gonna be a brand new planet or the Hive City, because that was another planet. The last Chaos mission is launching a ship. Those are the same characters from the operations, if I'm correct, at least for one or two of them. So we probably have operations for that as well. I do wonder then if at the end when he says Kadaku's lost is that we just did this damage to capillary towers and left. I didn't even think about that. Because he says Kadaku's lost. What if this takes place when Titus is returning and can't really talk with us? So Akron's in charge. 
Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye. Into the sack! A gross city is allergic to nuts, so I had to do something about it. <laughs> we have Majora's target. I'm not Horus, I'm not Horus! Horus! No, no! Horus! <laughs> Horus! You're Horus. No. Kill the Horus! Horus! Kill him all. Yeah, kill Horus. He deserves it. Excuse you, sir! I hit the block button and eat my ass!